right, we're back. This is Seb the Loeb with another quick video tutorial on the Flatson team, in this case, the UX Builder. And I'm gonna show you how to align two buttons next to each other. And this is very easy, but now the trick is how to display, display them nicely on mobile, because this is what you don't want to have. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this. I made a video on this before, uh, and I checked out my YouTube channel, and I was seeing how I did it with rows and columns, and I was like, no, this is not the way. Because now with the stack element, it's much more easy and much more intuitive to create. So let me show you how to do this. Um, so this is Hoppa. It's one of our demos that we're selling on septelaweb.com. And just for our uh, demo preview, I place two buttons next to each other. And that's easy. As you can see here on the left, having two button elements. And um, now I'm going to work with the stack element. So I'm going to place, I'm going to click on the plus, search on stack. And now you can find here the stack element and by clicking on it, it will open up. And then you can easily drag the button elements inside here. And then as you can see, there's not a lot of spacing between them. So let's, let's first make sure that there's a little bit of a spacing between those buttons. So 0 0.5. And then the next thing that you want to do is set them to be distributed in the center. So now they're nicely aligned in the center, as you can see. And now you can decide if you want to keep this layout for a tablet, but for mobile, you definitely want to do something different. And here you can set the direction here on the left to vertically. So by doing this, they will be placed nicely underneath each other, as you can see. And you can also ch uh, decide to do this, for example, on tablet. And since it's responsive, and you can see this by this little green dot indicating that there's something different, um, with this element, and you can also see this on the right side here, that just indicates that uh, something has changed in terms of the settings. And now it's nicely done. So we're having our buttons next to each other on desktop, and then on tablet and mobile, they're nicely vertically aligned and also spaced out, so they're stretched out. So if for any reason you wanna make those buttons a little bit smaller, on um, mobile, for example, then you need to work with another row and a column. Just gonna show you anyway. So I'm gonna add in a row with one column, just placing in that stack element inside that row here on the left, as you can see, I'm doing it, placing that stack element inside the column. And now I'm going, making it smaller. So now if I want to make that column or those buttons a little bit smaller, I just need to click on it and then make sure I put it at 10 or maybe at 11. So you can play around with that a little bit just to make the buttons smaller if you would like to do this. So that's about it. That's a quick video tutorial. I will put this in the playlist UX Builder. So um, if you want to learn more about the UX Builder elements, um, so this is the playlist where you need to be. Okay, well, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.